happy birthday to Ron Carter turning 84 years old today. What can I say about Ron Carter? Well, I'll try to keep it brief, but I have a few things to say about Ron Carter, who is the most recorded jazz bassist in all of history. He's got the Guinness Book of World Records uh, uh, certificate to prove that. And why is that an accomplishment? I mean, uh, okay, so you made a lot of records. Well, if you made 2,200 records, that's because 2,200 people wanted you and asked for Ron Carter. But that's an accomplishment because I don't think anybody else can say that. And, uh, you know, 2,200 records, there's probably thousands more people that wanted him and couldn't get him for what other reason. But uh, I wrote down a few little thoughts about Ron Carter uh, to wish him, wish you, Ron, hopefully you're watching, wish you a happy birthday. Um, <clears throat> You know, getting to 2,200 records, being probably the most important jazz bassist of uh, the last 50, 60 years, uh, in addition to being very talented and, 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 and playing beautifully, and we'll talk about that, but it's professionalism. And he talks about professionalism and how do you prepare for uh, you know, a gig or a recording session. And he talks about being prepared and showing up on time and being familiar with the music and and being in the right mental state of mind is really uh, related to being relaxed and getting there on time and knowing where the gig is and, and all that stuff. <clears throat> so professionalism is a big part of it because people will keep inviting you back if they know you're consistent and dependable. And uh, that's what bass players need to be, right? That's part of that's part of running the band and keeping every everything flowing is uh, that consistency and and, and 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 just doing your thing correctly. He's also a very elegant man. Think how beautifully he dresses. He's very proud of himself and what he's accomplished. And, and I mean, he's humble, but he deserves to be proud of uh, the great accomplishments he's made. And if you see how he dresses, tasteful, elegant, not flashy, not sloppy. That's exactly what a bass player needs to be, the, a great bass player who is the, the rock that holds the band together. And his playing, I'll, I'll say his playing is soulful, tuneful, thoughtful. Again, not flashy. Uh, he does not have to be the guy who jumps in front of the camera and uh, says, how fast can I play? You know, that that's that's not what he's about, and that's not what Grace great bass playing is about. You know, his solos are uh, well well put together, moving, emotional. And um, can I pick the best recording of the 2200 records that he's played on? Um, the one you're listening to now is probably the best one. But another way of, of uh, approaching that question, uh, I've heard some, re some recordings he's done recently uh, just like on Facebook, uh, short little pieces that he's done that really were wonderful and moving. And uh, during the, I guess he started doing it during the COVID, but uh, these little happy birthday tunes that he's recorded for some of his friends, but published on Facebook and YouTube, those are amazing. One or two minutes of, you know, the stupidest song ever, happy birthday, but he turns it into something beautiful and thoughtful and personal, and that he would take the time to do that for his fellow uh, musicians. Uh, go listen to those on YouTube if you can find them. Uh, every time a, a big name uh, jazz player comes out that he likes and respects, he's done a lot of these little happy birthday uh, uh, song recordings, personal to that that person, and that would be that would be such a great birthday present. Can you imagine opening up your mail? Yeah, another another shirt another bottle of wine, a concert from Ron Carter. Oh my God, that, that would be the best birthday present ever. So thank you, Ron Carter. Happy birthday. Uh, I think I said everything I wanted to say on here. Uh, there's so much more to say. Oh, I'll show you a couple records. My YouTube channel is mostly about showing records and there's no way for me to figure out how many Ron Carter records I have all over the house. So just in this back bedroom, I just grabbed the first five or six records I could find that Ron Carter played on. Miles in Tokyo just came out uh, for Record Store Day with Sam Rivers' only appearance with Miles, I think. 
Oh my god, this is a classical. This is one of the greatest jazz records of all time. Lane Shorter, Speak No Evil. Uh, with such a classic lineup with Herb, Herbie and Elvin and all those folks. And, uh, oh my god, here's another classic. It's going to seem like I'm getting deep into the Herbie here. Maiden Voyage. How young were you when that came out, Ron? Oh my god. George Coleman plays sax on that. And this one, Ron was at a thrift store. Freddie and Herbie and Tony Williams. Oh my god, this is such an amazing record. And, and you know what? Another word for, for Ron Carter. He is magic. This is this is a duet with him and Eric Dolphy, but there's some other great players on here. Um, Roy Haynes, who's still getting it done in his 90s. And uh, Mal Waldron. I've got tons and tons of Ron Carter records. And you have Ron Carter records that you don't even know are Ron Carter records because you've got so many and he's played on so many gigs. And one thing funny that Ron said, I forgot where he said this, but it's like, sometimes I'll be listening to the radio or uh, some music and I'm like, that's a nice, who, that's a great sound or tune. What is that? And then he says, looks at it and says, oh, that's me. Yeah, I can't remember all the records I made. 2200. Uh, Ron, great role model to aspiring jazz musician musicians everywhere, especially young people and just anybody uh, embarking on a career in anything and how to be professional and kind and humble. There's so much more I could say, but I think uh, that's a long birthday wish. You, Ron, you probably have hundreds of these to take a look at, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, you know what? I don't. I have no right to ask this, Ron, but um, I, I've done a bunch of interviews with musicians on my channel. I would be completely honored if you would want to do that with me. I don't know why you would. Would I'm just a, a nobody in Los Angeles, uh, but that would be the honor of my life. And you might not even watch this video. You might not hear this, and I have no right to ask that, but. Sometimes you just gotta step out and say, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. So Ron, thank you so much. Happy birthday. And uh, everybody, take a look at your record collection or go on to Spotify. There's so much music there uh, from Ron Carter. And he's given us so much and he's he's gonna continue to give us great music. So happy birthday, Ron. Thank you very much. Signing out.